Welcome back to Friends with Benefits, the channel where we spill the tea on the hottest rides, craziest car tech, and the occasional ridiculous price tag that'll make you question your life choices. Buckle up, because today's news lineup is one for the books. First up, we're talking about the Brabus Big Boy 1200. This isn't just a motorhome, it's a motor mansion. At a whopping $1.4 million, it's basically a penthouse on wheels. We're pretty sure it comes with a mortgage and maybe a butler if you ask nicely. So if you've got a spare million lying around and you dream of camping, but like in extreme luxury, this is the big boy for you. Next, Audi's made a wild move in China. They're launching a new Audi brand without the iconic four-ring logo. Apparently, they thought, why not go undercover as our own doppelganger? We'll dive into this rebranding mystery and see if people can still tell it's an Audi if it's naked. Then Kia rolled up to Sima with their customization game on point, showing off concepts that could make you forget they're the same company responsible for your mom's Sorento. It's like Kia said, forget practical, let's get wild. Speaking of wild, the 2025 Chevy Silverado EV now has a new crab walk feature. Yup, it can drive diagonally. So if parallel parking is your personal nightmare, Chevy's got you covered. The next time someone parks too close, just sidestep out of there like it's no big deal. And for a sprinkle of tech drama, Waymo's now worth $45 billion. Yep, more than Ford and almost as much as VW. You know, the world's gone upside down when a company making cars without drivers is worth more than companies who have, you know, drivers. Last but not least, Audi's profits took a serious nosedive with a 91% drop in Q3, but don't worry, they've got a redesigned A7 on the way to try and save the day. If at first you don't don't succeed. Redesign, right? So there you have it. This episode of Friends with Benefits has everything from million dollar RVs to self-driving startups flexing on the big names. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and let's jump into all this madness. Introducing the Brabus Big Boy 1200, the motorhome that basically laughs at every other RV on the road and comes with a price tag of just $1.4 million. That's right, folks. For the cost of a mansion, you can now live in a luxury box on wheels and feel like royalty as you camp in your driveway. Brabus, the brand known for turning Mercedes-Benz models into supercharged beasts, decided regular RVs were just way too basic. So they created a 1,200 horsepower all-wheel drive juggernaut that's less let's go camping and more let's go conquer a small nation. This thing is built on a Mercedes Actros platform, which sounds fancy, but it's basically the base of a truck that's ready to tow a yacht. Inside you'll find high-end everything. Think leather seats, LED lighting, and enough space to make you forget you're in a vehicle. There's even a wine cooler so you can sip your Molo as you roll through rugged terrain. And yes, it has a full shower and kitchenette because who wants to rough it when you're spending a million bucks? For those wanting to go off-road, the big boy 1200 is as rugged as they come. Massive off-road tires, reinforced axles, and even armor plating because you never know when you'll need to flee a zombie apocalypse in style. It's the kind of vehicle that makes you wonder, are you camping or planning an invasion? So, if you're ready to trade in your house for a mobile castle with enough power to pull a mountain, the Brabus Big Boy 1200 is waiting. Just remember to save up for the gas money. Picture this, Audi has launched a new brand in China, but they've left behind their famous four ring logo. That's right, no rings, no recognizable branding, just a sleek new identity under the name IM Motors. This is Audi's way of saying, we're still luxury, just a bit undercover. So why the logo breakup? Audi is aiming for a fresh start in China's luxury EV market, where it's crowded with high-tech premium brands like Tesla and BYD. They're hoping that IM Motors will capture the local vibe with its cutting-edge tech and a more subtle, sophisticated appeal. Essentially, they're trying to blend in and stand out at the same time, a bit like showing up at a costume party without a costume and claiming to be understated. The first car from IM Motors is a high-end electric vehicle packed with tech to impress the Chinese market. And while IM Motors may sound new, Audi's fingerprints are all over it. They're hoping this approach will resonate with China's growing luxury EV crowd who are less about flashy logos and more about what's under the hood. So will the no logo strategy work or will Audi end up regretting leaving their iconic rings at the door? Only time and a few test drives will tell. Kia has just rocked up at SEMA and let's just say they didn't come to play. They came to customize. Kia went all out with a range of wild, souped up concepts that are anything but your everyday Sorento or Soul. They brought futuristic builds, off-road ready beasts, and high performance machines to prove they're not just about practical family cars anymore. One standout was the Kia EV5, which they decked out with rugged off-road gear and chunky tires, turning it from a city-friendly EV into a true adventure mobile. Picture this, an EV ready to take on mud, mountains, and mall parking lots alike. It's like Kia took a look at the typical electric car and said, yeah, but what if it was tough? Then there's the Kia Fort GT, transformed with an aggressive body kit, sports suspension, and extra horsepower for the folks who want a daily driver that can tear up the track on weekends. Who knew a Kia could look like it's ready to square off against the sports car crowd? And of course, they didn't forget the Telluride, which showed up looking like it's ready to conquer the apocalypse with off-road tires, roof racks, and enough gear to survive just about anything. Kia's message here, forget mom 
car vibes, they're diving headfirst into performance, adventure, and style. It's bold, it's unexpected, and it's Kia saying, hey, we're not just here for the grocery runs anymore. Whether these concepts will ever hit the showroom is anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, Kia came to SEMA and they're making a statement. The 2025 Chevrolet Silverado EV is here to make a statement and it's doing it sideways. Yep, Chevy's added a wild new crab walk feature that lets this electric beast drive diagonally. Imagine pulling up to a crowded lot, spotting the last tiny parking spot and just sliding in sideways without a care. This feature takes think outside the box to a whole new level because technically you can drive outside the box now. But crab walking isn't just a gimmick. Chevy's playing smart in the electric truck arena where heavy hitters like the Rivian R1T and Ford Lightning are already turning heads. By adding this diagonal drive mode, they're offering something practical for off-roaders and city drivers alike. For anyone who loves a bit of off-roading, the crab walk feature makes it easier to maneuver around tight turns and uneven paths, making this EV not just high tech, but high fun too. Now let's talk about the mechanics behind this sideways shuffle. It's all made possible by Chevy's advanced four-wheel steering, a feature that lets the rear wheels turn independently from the front. This means the Silverado EV can shift directions like it's gliding without losing control of stability. It's not only an eye catcher, but also a serious aid for towing, hauling, and off-road adventuring. So if you need to slip out of a tricky spot on the trail or gracefully exit a crowded parking lot, this truck's got your back, sideways, and Chevy's not stopping there. They're also promising some solid power under the hood with a targeted 400 miles of range and impressive towing capacity. So it's not just a gimmick, it's a full-blown utility machine that happens to be one of the coolest new tricks in the EV world. With this new twist, Chevy's not just talking about thinking outside the box, they're literally driving outside it. So if you want a truck that lets you move forward, backward, and now sideways, the 2025 Silverado EV is bringing the side hustle to a whole new level. Here's a juicy one. Ferrari's been hit with a recall. And yes, we're talking about not one, not two, but four whole cars in the US. Turns out these four Ferraris might have a loose drive shaft, which if you know anything about cars is like having a loose bolt in the middle of a roller coaster. Things could go sideways quickly. This isn't just any car either. It's the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, a hybrid hypercar with over 900 horsepower. So imagine that much power with a wobbly drive shaft, not exactly the ride of your dreams. Now Ferrari's playing it cool, saying they'll fix this with no charge, like a fancy oil change but let's be real it's ferrari so even if they're only recalling four cars you can bet they're handling this with full-on white glove service we're talking priority treatment at dealerships probably some free espresso in the waiting lounge and maybe a little we're sorry swag for the inconvenience this recall might seem tiny in numbers but it's ferrari we're talking about a minor issue here is headline news because well it's ferrari it's also a good reminder that even the most elite brands sometimes have little hiccups and by hiccups i mean whoops your drive shaft could pop out so if you happen to be one of the four people affected congratulations your ferrari is about to get some special tlc waymo is on fire the autonomous driving giant just hit a valuation of 45 billion dollars putting it ahead of ford and nearly on par with volkswagen that's right a company making cars without drivers is now worth more than one of the world's oldest automakers it's as if the future just pulled up in a self-driving car and honked get in or get left behind so how did waymo pull this off they're one of the leaders in autonomous tech testing everything from ride hailing services to driverless delivery and while ford's out there sticking with human drivers, Waymo is betting big that our future rides won't need anyone behind the wheel. With self-driving shuttles zipping around Phoenix and San Francisco, Waymo is proving that autonomous vehicles aren't just a sci-fi dream, they're a reality rolling down city streets right now. Sure, Ford and VW might still be dominating in terms of cars sold, but Waymo's massive valuation reflects the sheer potential of the autonomous driving industry. Investors are putting their chips on the future where humans take the back seat, literally. And Waymo's market value? That's just one big neon sign pointing toward what might be the next automotive revolution. If Waymo's rise tells us anything, it's that the old school automakers should keep one eye on the road and the other on the tech giants creeping up in their rearview mirror. This is just the beginning of the self-driving showdown, and with $45 billion backing it up, Waymo's definitely in it to win it. Audi's had a tough quarter, like really tough. We're talking a 91% drop in profits for Q3. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine selling almost the same amount of cars, but somehow making way less money. Audi's sitting there like, where did it all go wrong? They're blaming it on higher costs, supply chain issues, and of course the epic battle to stay on top in the electric vehicle race. But Audi's not just moping around. They've got a new plan to win our hearts and wallets back. An all new redesigned Audi A7 is due early next year. They're hoping this sleek machine can bring the cash flow back and make us forget about this rough pattern. Expect it to be packed with tech, a fresh design, and that unmistakable Audi style that screams, yes, I'm fancy, but I'm also fast. 
In the grand scheme of things, Audi's just dealing with what every luxury car brand faces these days, a market craving EVs and cutting edge tech, while old school profits from gas powered rides start running dry. So Audi's pulling up its sleeves and betting big on new models to bounce back. Will the new A7, A6, A5 and A4 be the heroes Audi needs? Only time will tell. For now, they're crossing their fingers and probably watching their profit margins very closely. And that's a wrap folks. Thanks for hanging out with us on Friends with Benefits, where we bring you the wildest car news and questionable million dollar motorhomes. If today's lineup didn't make you rethink your next vehicle, well, maybe you're braver than us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a ride on this crazy road. Catch you next time. And until then, keep those engines and dreams running.